Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is one that's been long awaited. I know, I made you guys wait four weeks for this. I hope you all understand the reason behind it was not to torture you and make you wait and to be a tease. Basically, I did this experiment on myself and I really felt four weeks was sufficient amount of time to really know how my experiment is impacting my body. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, here it is. Basically, in a nutshell, I'm gonna start out telling you how this whole happenstance happened and what led into it and what I did and all of that. So. A family member of mine joined Weight Watchers. Now, I did not join Weight Watchers, so don't jump to any conclusions. But in reading the point system and how the Weight Watchers came about it was fairly interesting to me, so I began to research it a little bit. They do take into consideration the sugars and the fats now, where years ago they did not. Years ago, it was pretty much calorie counting. As of today, Weight Watchers does use saturated fat in their calculation as well, like I said, as um, sugars they cycle in there. I don't know, whatever. The calculation includes those things. So I started looking through the paperwork and I started to realize how much food I was taking in. Now, keep in mind, I've been on keto for almost a full two years. In the beginning of keto, even the first full year, I personally don't recommend counting calories because I really feel it's a big adjustment for your body. Not just the three weeks it could take you to become adapted, but to fully become a fat burning machine. I really truly feel it, it takes a long time. Um, so anyway, while I was researching this, I, like I said, started to realize how many calories I was taking in. So I thought it would be interesting to do this little experiment. What I did was followed my keto like I normally do, and then each time I would eat something like a burger, cheese, mayo, butter, you know, the typical keto stuff, bacon, I was using the point system. So a person of my size would be what they say 30 points a day. I was eating like 75, 80 points. Now, again, it was keto food, not Weight Watchers, no sugars, nothing like that. But I was eating like double of what someone following Weight Watchers should be doing. And that got me thinking, maybe the reason I was stalling out and not being productive anymore per se, because you guys know I was on a stall for quite a while, no inches lost, no pounds lost. So that to me is a stall, okay? Um, maybe I was just eating too much. Maybe my macros were just this, because they were the same all along, maybe they needed to be tweaked. So here comes the second part of my experiment. So what I did was, again, kept eating my keto foods, but started to lower the consumption, um, watching my calories per se. And that wasn't working because you guys know very well when you cut back a lot, you get hungry. And that's what happened. So I started to tweak the macros. Now what I did was, you guys know I have it written down here on paper, so I'm just referring to some notes so I don't mess anything up. So before this whole experiment, I was at percentage wise, 75% fat, 20% protein, and 5% carbohydrates. The good carbs, the veggies, and, um, and the carbs that come from eggs and, and some protein. So, what did I do? Well, yeah, I joined a gym again. Well, I shouldn't say I joined a gym. I've always been a member of my gym, but I started going back. While this whole experiment started happening, um, I noticed eating just keto foods, just my protein, my good carbs, um, and my fats, 
I was working out hard. I felt as if my muscles weren't being fed the proper macronutrients. I was like, I was working out really hard and I was slowly starting to see some um, gains at the gym, like strength wise, but I just, I, I can't explain it. I just felt I needed to feed the muscles more. So what I did was I tweaked up my macros and what I did was, this is gonna sound so bizarre, okay. So let's start with fat. I was eating 75% fat. Great, great for the first almost two years. But now I wanna lean down and I wanna build the muscle. And while so many people on the keto way of life will say, just keep your macros as is, it's not a big deal. I don't know, I'm, I'm really going with the fact that it is a big deal at this point in the game. At this point in the game, here's what I've been doing. I have knocked my fat macros down. I wanna burn the fat on my body. And I truly am starting to believe that at this point in the game, almost two years in, the high fat, the 75% of my intake with fat was not allowing me to properly burn off the body fat. It just wasn't. I was eating fat, eating fat, eating fat, burning fat, burning fat, burning fat, but I wasn't burning my fat. I was burning the fat that I was eating. Take this with a grain of salt. So I took my fat from 75% a day to 30% a day. That's right, less than half. So that means I have to make up for my other macros, right? Now here's, here's the paradox of it all. My protein was 20% a day, right? We have to keep our protein moderate because why? Gluconeogenesis, extra protein turns to sugar. Well, okay, yes, but again, I'm working out hard at the gym and heavy. I'm lifting heavy, guys, like eight reps per set, maybe 10 if I'm lucky, heavy. And the point of that is to build the muscle. My protein that was 20% a day is now double at 40%. This has definitely allowed me to build the muscle. It has definitely allowed me to lean down. Now keep in mind, I'm going to the gym. Okay. This isn't just like, let's eat and sit on the couch all day. This is tweaking the macros to help me in the gym, make gains. I'm going to get into that more a little bit afterwards. So what does that leave me? You guys can figure it out, right? I'm at 40% protein, 30% fat, that's 70%, and where are the carbs? If you can do math, then you will know that my carbs are 30%. Now where am I getting my good carbs from? I have upped the green leafy vegetables, and I now include in my daily diet strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries. That's right, that's right. I'm including the low glycemic index fruits. I cannot stress this enough. Do not do this on keto early on. Do this if you want to. When you have been on keto for at least a full year, you are fully adapted because I'm gonna tell you something. These macros may seem completely way off circuit to most of you, and they are. They're technically not what we normally consider keto, but they are because if you do the research, you will find that if you are fully fat adapted, you don't need the high fat per se to keep yourself satiated, and you don't need such high fat if you're working out and you're doing everything to, you need to do to lean out, you, you don't want to have a high dietary intake of fat, like 75%. You might wanna cut it down to 70%, 60%. I don't know, for me, 30% is working. I am not hungry in the least, and I really think that one of the benefits of this um, non-hunger issue with tweaking these macros like this um, is the gym. It truly is. I, I really can't stress it enough. It has helped me so much. I am no longer um, dependent on fat to keep me full. I don't know. And I, ha I will insert a picture here, um, or after I'm done telling you this, of my keto stick where it shows that I'm still in ketosis. So I am still in ketosis at 30% carbohydrate, 30% fat, and 40% protein. 
Um, so yeah, and I know the symptoms and how you feel in ketosis and they're still there. So I am assuming through this research, through this experiment, that when you become fully adapted for a lengthy period of time, you can increase the good carbs. Don't increase your carbs by pizza and hamburgers and carb cycling and all that stuff. When I say I added back the fruits, I'm talking about making a protein shake in the morning, um, some sugar-free protein powder, throwing in some raw eggs, throwing in some veggies, using either heavy cream, using water, using almond milk unsweetened, adding the coconut oil in, but just the fat part, not overkilling it. That's when I will throw in some fruit. And it's not like I'm eating bowls of fruit salad. It's just the low glycemic fruits. Um, and again, you know, when you build muscle, that burns fat even more. So I find keeping my fat down has just made a world of difference. Now, I'm only doing this for four weeks. I'm gonna continue doing this for another four weeks, and I wanna see where I come out. As of today, I am down almost eight pounds. Yep, eight pounds. And I am down, ready for this, guys, like 10 inches, adding it up all around my body. About two weeks ago, I think I was down six inches. I'm almost down another 10. My strength has increased dramatically. When I first started going back, I could do like 20 pound reps um, on biceps. I'm up to 40 now, that's double. Um, my, my back strength has increased. I don't know, I, the numbers are just, I, I'm shocked. I walk out of the gym sometimes, I'm like, did I just really double what I did when I first started? Like, really? I also notice other things. I notice that um, I'm not waking up in the middle of the night. I used to wake up in the middle of the night right before I started doing this. And I was really having a hard time with that because keto normally puts me to sleep. Like I go to bed and that's it. I am like sleeping again really soundly. And I know that's through the exercise. I'm more active. So uh, it's going to induce sleep. Um, so I don't know. All I know is this formula has been working for me. Um, would I suggest it to you? I guess, like I said, if you've been on this for a while. I, if you've been on this for a month, don't do this. You need to really, really get your body in tune with burning fat. And I don't mean a month or two. I mean a good year, guys. This isn't something you want to do right away. Um, and, and it all happened, like I said, due to this person in my family joining Weight Watchers. I thought... I thought, how strange that I am technically eating double, even though I'm not getting the sugar, but could that also be why I'm stalling out? Maybe it was just too much, and clearly it was. Um, if I didn't go back to the gym, maybe it would be different. I don't know. It's just, this is the formula that I'm doing right now, and so, um, yeah, if you've been on keto for a year and you want to... Tweak your macros according to your activity level, according to anything. I suggest trying it. Why not, right? We don't know unless we try. Um, so anyway, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. I have been eating really well. Lots of salads, lots of um, chicken. And instead of using you know, salad dressing, like I used to use the full fat ranch, I'm just drizzling a little bit of melted coconut oil and maybe some squeezed lemon on top. Um, I have also been adding lemon to my water and I've been drinking, you know, a couple bottles a day, but back in the gym, it, it, it definitely you need to keep yourself hydrated so you don't get muscle cramps. So I'm almost up to a gallon a day of that. That could have something to do with it. I don't know. It's just, you know, like when you put a ton of ingredients into a soup pot and it comes out delicious, <laughs> that is what this is. I've been incorporating a lot of different things and the uh, concoction has been working. So um, yeah, that's it guys. Nothing hard, just a realization that maybe I didn't need such high fat and maybe I needed a little more protein so I could do better in the gym, so I could lean out and um, that's what's going on. So if you have any questions, please leave them below. Um, thanks for sticking through this four weeks of mystery, but you know, as you can see, I couldn't do this for seven days and then just tell you, oh yeah, it's working. It, 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 it will be better in another four weeks. I'll let you know how that goes. Um, and, and so far, farther out, it'll even be better. I don't know. Is it going to backfire? I don't know. 
but um, I felt, you know, at my age, almost 50, I felt I owed it to myself at this point in the game, especially with getting back in the gym, guys, I had to tweak things up. And you know, every year I do an experiment on myself. Last year was the egg fast. <laughs> this year it's macro tweaking. Um, so yeah, that's it. So anybody have any questions, please leave them below, like I said. And that's about it. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you all in my next one. Have a great day. Stay focused, everybody. You can do it. Watch your dreams become reality. Bye, guys. <music>